Hello, everyone. So today we are going to try the five language challenge. We're going to start in English. Hopefully, that'll be the easiest. <laughs> Then we're going to go to. I guess we're going to go in order of the languages that I'm most comfortable with. So next will be French. Then Spanish, then German, and then ugh, my nemesis, Russian, which truthfully should be my best since my wife is Russian. But unfortunately, it's too difficult a language, and I just sort of gave up um, uh, uh, probably just a few months after we met. Uh, however, her English got very good. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the English version.、Uh, let's not make a fool of ourselves. Uh, I'm going to do exactly what I would do if I was in our March tournament, which is to start with Slate. And just checking that the board looks good. Yes, it does. All right. So with Slate,、um, I have a cool little algorithm that、uh, I can use that、um, gives me the next best word with a green e. And it's funny. I think we just had it、um, for the previous wordle. I forget.、Um, it's Crone though. Crone is the one to go with. So let's try Crone and see what we get. Whoa. Looks pretty good. I am concerned that we've got a nasty trap here because you could have drove. You could have grove. Oh, forget it. Yeah, you've got a lot here. You could have grope. All right, so let's get a D and a G involved in this. And oh my goodness, we, we actually yeah, we could use a lot. I think badge would be a good tester word. Um, and there you go. So that's great. So we're going to have the B in the fourth position, which means we could probably go with probe. Let's see if that's correct. Yes, it is. All right. All right, one down, four to go. So let's move on now to Le Mo, and just always give me guys a second or two to transition between these because I have a lot of windows up. And now let's go to our French word all, and there it is. But it does not look quite right, and that's because I just need to turn that window off. Okay, French one. Now this is funny. French is known for its.、Uh, Uh, it's a very vowel-rich、uh, language, right?、Um, however, I'm going to be cute today and prove that、uh, French is not necessarily every word filled with vowels, and we're going to go with ton. And、uh, for you folks who might be new to French or just learning, you probably know that、uh, le ton could either be the weather or the time, and it only has one vowel. So let's see how we do. Well, we got that vowel and we got the s, so that actually wasn't terrible. Not bad at all, right? So、uh, let's see here. This is where it just pays, obviously, to have that facility to immediately conjure five-letter words, sort of the way I'm able to do in English, and a lot of you, I'm sure, are in your own native language. It's much harder, even though French is my best language after English. So just give me a minute here, guys. We'll we'll figure out what we can do.、Um, we'll figure out what we could do here. We could do well. Honestly, I'm you know nobody says that I have to play in hard mode with these, right? So I'm going to actually just do a brand new word.、Um, I'm going to do a brand new word here.、Um, now, could I get five brand new letters? I probably could. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do chien. That's one that I start with a lot. Now we do repeat the e. Uh, I think it's in a decent location. Yeah, 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 yeah. It could we could have an e there. So let's try chien. All right. Well, we got the e there, so that's good. And、um, what's next? How about?、Uh, so we could be looking at a word like、uh, something like that. Something with uh, uh, who? We could be looking at something like that. Hmm. Which I forget how the word the rules in Le Mo work. Uh, so it sounds seems like that would be sort of like a um. Uh, it could be I guess a conjugation in the to form. I'm not sure if they allow those for verbs, but why not? Um. I'm actually going to go for another word, though. I, I think I could just use a little bit more information to solve this.、Um, I would love to get the O and the U. Boy, if we could get those, that would be great.、Um, oh, I have a great word. I think this means heavy. Lord. All right. Yes, we got the U. Okay, we got the U. 
And um, I'm sure it's going to be something like this. I'm sure it's got to have to be something like that. We're getting close to the end here. I got to be careful. I got to be careful. Um, hmm. Huh, that's funny. It almost could have been Le Lux. Ah, that's a, that would be a silly guess. I'm pretty sure that would be luxuries, but that would be a terrible guess because we don't have the L. And uh, I think just like in English, the X is sort of a, a little bit of a bit player in French as well. Although there are a lot of, word, a lot of words that have X in them in French. But yeah, I'm not going to do that. That's going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit foolish. So, ah, now I, I, I it's upsetting because now I am sort of going into a little bit of guess mode. I just don't know if these are words. Nah, that doesn't make sense. Ah, oh, boy, we don't have too many letters left, so this shouldn't be terrible. It shouldn't be terrible. Yeah, it's got to be this. It's got to be that set up. Okay, now it could be something like that. Oh, that wasn't a very good guess. I mean, it fits. I'm going to be quite honest. I'm not exactly sure what that means, Oj. Uh, but here's the good news. We now got rid of an A. We literally have no more vowels left except Y, which is sort of like this, a semi-vowel in French as well. And it begins with U. So come on, this can't be that bad. You know, I probably don't know the word. Um, but we should be able to fit it in, right? We should be able to fit it in. It's got to be, and it could be a funny, like, foreign word, too. You know, not like a native French word. You never know. All right. Um, we could reuse the S. Ousay. Okay, not bad. Um, not bad. Use. I think that would have to be something. Uh, yeah, it's basically. I think it's just used in the past tense. So there you go. All right, not bad. We're two for two. They're going to get a little bit harder for me though, guys. They're going to be a little bit harder. But I'm very happy with that. That wasn't terrible, at all. Um, la palabra. La palabra is the. Spanish version of Wordle, and uh, sadly, my Spanish is only limited to um, high school Spanish, okay? So I wouldn't dare try to uh, say too much in it uh, because I would probably butcher it. And my good friend, Rob Dool, who may check out this video, I don't want him to laugh. So let's just keep the uh, guesses in English, talking out, uh, out loud our thought process. But what would be a good starter word? Now, it's funny. I remember in high school, we read an absolutely adorable short story called La Mosca Bionica. And I think Mosca, it would be a pretty decent uh, word to start with. That, by the way, means the bionic fly. And it was a super cute story. Whoa, look at that. Holy cow. All right. So we got something here. We got something. Uh, obviously, the S has to go forth. I don't think too many Spanish words begin with MS. So let's go like that. And again, this is just where somebody like Rob Dole is going to be able to just immediately know the answer. I mean, it's his language. Uh, it's not mine, unfortunately. Uh, even though I could literally walk 100 feet um, across uh, from where I live and bam, I could go to the supermarket and there's just a ton of folks there that uh, um, speak Spanish. And it's a great opportunity to practice it. You know, you just go to the checkout counter and bam. You can speak with the cashier in Spanish to your heart's content, and they're very nice, so it's a great opportunity. All right. Um, it's funny. I doubt that it's Mensa, um, the institution for geniuses. I'm going to try it just for the sake, just for the fun of it. Why can't I get my uh, cursor on the screen? We have a little issue here, guys. Oh, because I didn't hit... Uh, Oh, because I, okay, I'm going to put Mensa in just for the fun of it. Holy cow, are you kidding me? I guess it's just, uh, yeah, it must be, 
either some noun or it could be a conjugation of a verb. Maybe there's a verb mensar. I don't know. Um, but we come on. We've got to get this. Um, is it munsa? La munsa? I have no idea what that means. I'm going to be quite honest. It's not a word. So is it la minsa or la mansa? Mansa sounds better. And we got it. Okay, we got it. Now, for those Spanish speakers out there, please tell me what la mansa means. I would love to know. Okay, just in the interest of keeping pace here, uh, because we're going to need the time, guys, for German and uh, Russian. Trust me. But for everybody who knows what um, la mansa means, please let me know. All right, here we go. Now we're getting to the tough part. Okay, now we're getting to the tough part. Let's switch over to German. Let's switch over to German. And now the the backstory on German is that um, I took it in college um, for, I think, two years. And I'm going to be honest. I mean, it's a, it is a very cool language. Um, it's tough. The grammar is tough. But what happened is I just sort of lost interest, especially when we started to get to uh, the, you know, the harder, more advanced German classes and the the stories were, I'm going to be honest. Now, please don't take offense if you're from Germany or a German speaker. You might agree with me, but the stories were actually somewhat boring, if I have to be quite honest. Whereas the the Spanish stories, the French stories are just like, so, um, I don't know, they're just very animated. That's the best way I can describe it, okay? All right, but in any case, uh, German is a beautiful language, and I'm going to start with Recht which means right. And it got me nothing. All right. However, those are quality letters in German. They definitely are. And um, what are we going to do next? So again, I just don't have that really fluid um, ability to just conjure some some great words in German. So it's going to be a bit of a struggle. Um, w, believe it or not, is a very... Oh, I, have a, uh, I was about to say warum, which means why. But we use the R, so it's not like the best ever word. Uh, what else could we do? Varum. Uh, we could do... Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> So I'm just looking, thinking about my basic vocabulary, like father is father, but we wouldn't want to do that. Um, die Hunde would be plural for dogs. I mean, that's not a bad guess, actually, um, because you would get um, four new letters. It's just unfortunate to reuse the A. So we'll think about that. Um, but what else could we do? Yeah, this rules out. Oh, yeah, it rules out uh, lots of verbs in the infinitive because they all almost all end in en. So, for instance, um, what would be a good one that immediately comes to mind? A five-letter German verb. Uh, I can't think of one to be honest, uh, right offhand. I know halten uh, is to is to hold, but I don't think that would really be a good one to test. So what are we going to do? We're going to go with, um, you know, and the tricky thing is that sometimes the words are not like just native German, but they're borrowed words. And sometimes those are the trickiest. Those can be the trickiest because I'm thinking, you know, strictly like, um, you know, real German words here. Oh, all right. So what about um, mensch? Uh, mensch doesn't work. That's S-C-H so that we run out of letters. Sh schön. Ah, uh, that's not good because we we use the C and the H. Uh, you know what? Let's go with um, Hunde. Okay, I believe that's dogs in plural. Die Hunde. And ah, uh, ouch. See, I'm telling you guys, we started with the three easy players, and now they're going to get rough. So we have an N. That's it. Um, I bet it's a funny foreign word. Because those uh, other letters are just really kind of like top tier German letters, the ones that appear the most often. Um, so, oh man, this is tough. I think I just need another great quality word 
Boy, if I could get one with five brand new letters, that would be great. But it's very tricky at this point because the vowels that are left are kind of weird. A-I-O. It almost looks like we're doing something in French now. Um, so, so one trick would be just to think of some cognates that probably would be similar in English. Um, piano wouldn't be bad. I know it's not the great usage of the N, but let's try that. Okay, not bad. So uh, all that did was get me the I, but we're out of vowels. So where, what are we looking at here? We, what are we looking at here? What are we looking at here? Because what I'm, because I don't know what would begin here with I. Unless it's I N N. Inig. I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a word in German. I mean, I'll try it. Holy smokes! What the hell is Inig? I have no idea what that means. Sehr gut. You better believe that was sehr gut. Inig. Okay, to all my German speakers, please help Art out. What on earth does Inig mean? I don't think I ever recall seeing that word uh, when I studied German. So please, Inig. Uh, what does it mean? Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. Da dum dum dum. The grand finale. Let's turn off German Wordle and get ready for the ultimate Russian Wordle. Okay, this definitely sends shivers down my spine because the trickiest aspect of Russian Wordle is that Russian has, are you ready for this? Not 26 letters, not 30 letters, but 33. So it's almost like you need an extra row just to help deal with the fact that you've got seven more letters than you do uh, in English. Now, having said that, a couple of them are very rare. So, you know, you, you barely see them. But still, to be fair, there are 33 letters, and that makes it very hard. All right. Now, the one that I like to start with, because um, it's a nice word, just to show you guys that Russian has plenty of, you know, uh, common words in English, is the word sport. So uh, that is S-P-O-R-T. Day, sport. And of course it means sport. And you know, uh, Russian is kind of fun. Actually learning the alphabet is the easiest part and the most fun. After that, it goes all downhill because the grammar is, I would say, even worse than German. Uh, but yeah, S is the letter, uh, or sorry, that's looks like RC. It's just the letter S. You say S. This is P in Russian, P. This is of course still O. What looks like RP is R. That's an R and the T is the same. So a lot of them are the same. All right, let's try sports and see how we do. Not bad. Oh, my gosh. This is fantastic. So we could be looking at um, – can't really use the keyboard because it doesn't match. So I have to click on it. So I'm going to go with uh, – so again, I, I can't immediately conjure a word that um, you know fits this. So we are going to have to fool around a little bit. But maybe we could do – so stall, we could do stala. Um, oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Uh, whoa, we are really close here. So stall and stool. I always get those confused. Basically, one is a, um, a stall and a stool. One is, think, is a table. The other is a chair. Stall is table. So stala is just one of the other forms of table. Um Russian has a lot of cases. I forget which one that is. Um, but it doesn't matter. You know, we're just here to solve this thing. So it's probably just another version of this. And we have to just not run out of room here. But I think we're going to get this. S-T-O-L. Ah, where's the L? I barely ever use the Cyrillic keyboard. Um, but here we go. Okay. St okay, so it could just be the plural form, which I think would be Stali. So we're going to go with E and keep our fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, okay. So it gave me a little um, warning there. Uh, I didn't quite understand that, but we're going to try. Oh, maybe that's just not the right, that's not the correct spelling. Maybe it's Stali. Oh, I always mess those up. Let's try this. Akian. 
Okay, I'm not really sure what they're trying to say there, but it might have something to do with it. It doesn't take plurals. Uh, okay, so if it doesn't take plurals, stalu, I think, would be another form that we could have. Oh, it's not giving it to me. Uh, so what are we missing? Oh, is it maybe we could just put a Miyake's knock, a soft sign? That might change the meaning, so it's stoli. Nope. If that little note would stay longer, I might actually be able to figure out what the heck it's saying. Oh, this is ridiculous. I could get this in three if the darn thing would cooperate. So I've tried a lot of these endings. Stalia, maybe. No. Oh. So it's probably just a different word other than table. Um, I mean, it's kind of funny. This is where I... <laughs> <laughs> be tempted to give my wife a call. She would know immediately what to do. She would know immediately what to do. Um, Stolm, Stolch, stal Stalya. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm just swinging and missing here. I mean, for all the guesses that I've made, I sort of deserve to have failed by now. But fortunately, you know, it still gives you that extra chance. I don't know though. This is really weird. Stoled. Yeah, this is crazy. I mean, I could just literally go through the alphabet here. And, um... Stalia. No, it's not that. What the heck? We started off so good. So maybe it's just we add more of like a consonant at the end of this thing? Staliu? I don't know about that. No. All right. So let's go with... Stolm. Okay, it's not Stolm. Stolch. It's not Stolch. We already tried Stalia. Stale, that wouldn't make any sense. Stolz, no. Stold. I think I tried that already. Whoops. I think I tried this already. Nope. Ah, come on. Stalo? No. And at that little thing that it's saying, I'm just a little concerned. I hope I'm not just messing this up. Stolf. I don't think that makes any sense. No. Stali. Stolf. No. Stolsch. Stolsch. Oh, my God. Stolg. Come on. What's going on here? What the heck is going on here? Stone wouldn't make any sense. Stolk. St Stoltz. This doesn't make any sense. What's going on here? Uh, and it, this little note, guys, is, is uh, messing me up. Could it just be a double L? I can't quite understand that note. Oh, man, this is embarrassing. And we were doing so good. Dugwaya Nipamir Akian. Okay, I think it's... What the heck is it saying? It's saying something about um, it doesn't take other endings. It's just the, the root word. Okay, I think I know what they're saying. So we don't actually look at all the different types of endings it can have based on the case that it's used. It's just it's just going to be a, a strict different word other than um, other than those endings. So what have I missed here? Oh, this is so annoying. I think I hit every single letter and we definitely have a chance for a three. I doubt that this is a trap. Um, st I mean, stolt. We could, no, we can't repeat the T because it's yellow up there. Stolz. Drugai, I don't know what they're saying there. Um, I think I tried Stolg. Oh, this is ridiculous. Stal Stale doesn't make sense. This just, these don't even like make sense spelling wise. This wouldn't make, I don't think this would ever make sense. Oh my gosh, Stale. I'm really just grasping for straws here. Stolge. I did I don't think I put that one in yet. Oh my god, come on. 
stalled. We tried the double L. Did I do this? Stalo. Um. Stolp. No, we don't have the pay. We don't know. We know. Stolb. Stolv. No. Did I try Stolb? Oh my God. That was embarrassing, guys. We got it, though. We went five for five. I just have no idea what Stolb means. Ah, oh, but I do think that little um, thing that kept popping up was basically just saying, hey, look, um, you don't have to worry about endings on these words. It's just the natural, what you call nominative form, like the version when you look it up in the dictionary won't list all the different possible cases, of which there are many in Russian. We did it, guys. We went five for five. So tell me what languages you have also played uh, Wordle in and um, how you think we did today. Definitely fill me in on all those words that we didn't understand. Uh, if we go back real quick, I need to know use. I'm pretty sure that just is the, um, uh, for, for um, use, just using it in the past tense for the plural. Uh, definitely for la, la palabra. Uh, you guys might remember the word that we got there. German, I definitely want to know what this enig mean. And then here, stolb. Yeah, you guys can help me on that. Of course, I could just ask my wife in a little bit. But there you have it, guys. Not bad. Five for five. All right. So um, now I have to get cracking on the official Wordle for the March tournament. But in the meantime, I will look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.